Hi, welcome to this video where today we're going to be talking about how to calculate the area of composite figures as well as the shaded area of certain composite figures put together. Um, I'm going to do the right hand side first. Oops. I'm going to do the right hand side first for composite and then we're going to go to shaded and then do some more practice. So first of all, when I see this figure, I know this is not a regular polygon. It's like an arrow, but I can break it apart into two shapes that I do know how to calculate the area of. I can break it apart into a triangle and a rectangle. So if I add up the area of this triangle plus the area of this rectangle, I will get the full area. If I take a look at this top triangle and I kind of draw a dashed line, and I know it's not perfectly in line because I just want it to be hovering a little bit above so you can see the full length then I'd be able to calculate that that length there is my base of my triangle, and then this length here would be my height. Now, the base of this triangle I would be able to say is eight because it's got two segments of two plus the full segment of four. So two plus two plus four gives me an entire base of eight. My height, since the entire height of the figure is seven, and this height here is five, that leaves me with that height of two. So now I can do my area of my triangle, which is one half base times height, so one half eight times two, which is just eight units squared. The area of my rectangle would be five by four, which is 20, and so my total area would simply be 28 units squared. Let's take a look over here at the shaded region problem. Now this problem is where I don't have two figures adding up to make one image, I actually have a rectangle with a circle kind of punching a hole through it. And if I want to know just the area of the rectangle, what I have to make sure I do is I have to calculate the area of the rectangle and then subtract the area of my circle, kind of like I'm cutting that circle out. So the rectangle. Now, this entire side, this length here is 9, but I need to know the width of my rectangle. I'm shown that my radius here is 3. I know that then the diameter would be 6, so therefore the width of the rectangle is 6. So my area of my rectangle is 6 times 9, which is 54 units squared. My area formula for a circle we know is pi r squared, so pi times 3 squared. And then I would need to subtract them. Of course, it's the rectangle's area minus the circle area, and I get 25.7 units squared. Let's take a look over here now. So this is a composite figure. What we should notice is that we have these two kind of parallelograms that are attached to each other. So I want you to kind of imagine if I was to split this in half down the middle, um, area formula for a parallelogram is simply just base times height. So if I add the area of this parallelogram and this parallelogram together, I will get my total area. So if the entire height of this figure is six and it's bisected in half here, that would mean the height is three. So the base times height of the first parallelogram would be 6 times 3. So is the second one. And 18 plus 18 is 36. Now something else you probably could have seen is that 6, 6, and 6 make three sides of a square. And if I basically cut this area out here, this whole point, and move it here and fill that in, I've got a 6 by 6 square, which would have an area of 36 units. This one I think is pretty obvious that we're probably going to break it up into two rectangles. I could break it apart here into two rectangles or here. And either method, you're going to be able to do your calculation and get the same answer. I broke my rectangles up like this. So this little rectangle up here is 2 by now. This entire side is 10. It's broken up into two congruent segments that are also parallel to it. So that means if these are congruent, then they're both worth 5. So if I add these two rectangles together, the first little one is a 2 by 5, which is 10. The second rectangle here would be 10 by another 5, which is 50. Add them up, I get 60 units squared. This next figure is kind of interesting. It looks like a teardrop, just kind of like tilted on its side a little bit. Um, it's a square, and then I have like 3 fourths of a circle, and I'm given a radius. So... A square plus three-fourths of a circle. So the area of a square is really easy. Length times width, our side squared, is 25. But now I need to do three-fourths pi five squared to get the area of just the three-fourths of a circle. So three-fourths pi r squared would give me 58.9, and I would want to add those two together to get my total area. So breaking apart into figures that we know, different ways to do things, of course, but it seemed pretty straightforward to do it that way. Okay, now these are the shaded region figures. 
So here it looks like I have maybe a rectangle and a circle, but the rectangle really doesn't have much to do with this part of the circle. It really only has to do with this part of the circle. So it's like the whole rectangle was shaded in and then half of a circle or a semicircle was kind of cut out of it. I'm given the dimensions of the rectangle, which is great. But what I really need to do is I need to do the area of the rectangle minus the area, not of a full circle, but of the semicircle, just half of it. Subtracting this from it really doesn't make any sense because this half of the circle has nothing to do with the rectangle. So my area of my rectangle is pretty simple. 4 times 8 is 32. Now, because this height here is 4, which would be the diameter of the circle, it would tell me that my radius of the circle is 2. So a semicircle would be 1 half pi r squared. So this is going to be 1 half pi 2 squared. Now it's going to give me 6.3. I'm then going to subtract those values and I get 25.7 units squared. Next one. An area of a circle minus the area of the triangle. So it's like the whole circle's filled in and then we got to cut out the triangle that's in the middle. So area of a circle, I see I have a radius of 4. That's no big deal. Pi r squared, 50.3 unit squared, not a problem. But now we have this triangle here. It's an equilateral triangle. We have to use our apothem here to figure out what the area of this equilateral triangle would be. So if I build that apothem, and remember there's 180 degrees here um, in a triangle, each angle is 60. So if I split this angle, that's 30. Now remember what ends up happening here. We end up having a 30, 60, 90. Four is the hypotenuse, and that's always double the length of the side opposite the 30. So if this is 4, then this length is 2. And then we know the relationship of the side opposite the 30 to the side opposite the 60 is to multiply by radical 3. So this is 2 radical 3. So from our 30, 60, 90 rules, we know the apothem is 2. We know part of the triangle side is 2 radical 3. The area formula of any polygon would be 1 half times the apothem times the perimeter. Or it is a triangle. We have area formula for triangle. It could be just one half base times height. So if I know that this is two and my radius of my circle is four, then I'd be able to say the area of this triangle is one half the base, which is four radical three, times my entire height, which is six. It's just another way to do the problem. Once I get that value, I can then subtract them from each other and I get 29.5 units squared. In this last one here, it looks like I have a big rectangle with two rhombi, two congruent rhombi as well. Um, the area formula I'd have to do of the rectangle minus two times the rhombi that I see here, or the two rhombus. So my area of my rectangle is really straightforward. It's just 6 times 10 is 60. But remember the area formula for a rhombus. It's 1 half multiplied by the diagonals. So if this entire length here is 10, and that would mean that this length here is 5. So the diagonals are 5 and then 6. And the area formula, remember, for a rhombus is 1 half multiplied by the diagonals. But I have to double it. So the area of these rhombi would be 2 times 1 half times 5 times 6, which really just becomes 30. Subtract the area of the rectangle minus the area of the two rhombi together, and I get 30 units squared. What you may also see is if I was to cut this figure in half, I basically can fit all the pieces from one shaded area into one of the pieces here, and it would just be really cutting the 60 in half. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Bye.